Cancelled. Don't remember doing this at all. I can only hold myself accountable. Cancelled. I object! Look how good my life is. So what else? Cancelled. Damn emoji is cancelled. Hello and welcome back to the Cancelled Podcast. Today we are here with one of my favorite people on this planet. I don't even know how I got you to agree to this. It was a text. It's very easy. It's very easy. <laughs> I like the intro. I like it. It's black and white. Yeah. Kind of like your newspaper reporter. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And that's exactly. fun. Yeah. We are here today with Tim Dillon, who is one of, in my opinion, the greatest comedians of all time. Well, that's are- that's very, very overdoing it, but that, that is sweet. You don't agree? Uh, I think I'm I'm good enough, but I mean that's a very big compliment. You are the funniest motherfucker I've well, literally ever met, and I've been saving actually getting to know you for this podcast. I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate. I also monetize most of my life <laughs> and refuse to have any meaningful interaction outside of an ad supported platform. It, what, exactly. Yeah. That. No. I, I, yeah. I can't really bond with people unless there's money. No. You're. I look at you as like you're kind of, and I know you said you like. I, I don't know if the definition fits, but you're like an OG YouTuber. You've been around. It's so weird to think yeah. about because I don't look at myself like that when I think of OGs. I right. think of like prestigious and I just somehow right. made it like a cockroach. Like I'm just, I somehow live. You, you serve. Well, the thing I've always said about you, I said you were born in Vegas and I, <laughs> and, which is amazing because I think people in, that are born in Vegas just immediately die. Like I can't I imagine someone thriving coming from Las Vegas, but you have it's like amazing <laughs> to watch like the whole it's, thing i think it's great it's a really true you know, my sentiment. parents took me to tanacon when i was little <laughs> oh my God. You know, i was it's a, no, a kid that's a lie but that's, that's no it, i would have been it's like i got a third degree burn <laughs> yeah we were standing outside screaming my mother got melanoma but you know what we all realize that it was it's the thought that counts this is i really kept saying that she wants us to be inside i kept saying that <laughs> Yo, know, this podcast is going to be unhinged because it's yeah. going to be me just screaming the entire time because you're the funniest fucking person ever. I like that it's canceled. I mean, it's very, this is aggressive. The branding is aggressive. <laughs> aggressive. You want, what I like is you kind of want issues. Yeah, like, you super. want problems. Yeah. I've always you been want, this way. Yeah, no, no, no. You want, you like a little blood in the water. 100%. Oh, yeah. Metaphorically, wrong with that. literally. Yeah. No, there's um, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, I, I don't know why that is. I've always wanted issues. I think it's the trauma. But now, yeah. again, monetizing off the trauma. You've it's a got to thing. keep the people <laughs> invested. And the way to do that, I think a lot of times is with chaos and war. What? That's exactly <laughs> so right. Much chaos and war. Oh my, I really just, I don't even want to talk. I just want to let you keep fucking talking. It's insane. I just, you, you are so unapologetically you and you say whatever the fuck is on your mind. It's they know incredible. what they're getting. I feel like they click on... You know what you're getting. And if you're upset about that, I don't, you know. But I love that. I, I really am clicking on you every yeah. single second. I think you're amazing. You are just going like kind of viral for um, giving your opinion on the hype house. And I was like, I am yeah. so happy to have this man on during this time. Well, I, li- I, I like, first of all, I like, I think the idea of child millionaires is very funny. <laughs> and I like it. And I like during the pandemic when I would go to BOA, all of these young kids who were running LA because all the older celebrities were afraid of getting canceled. So they wouldn't leave, but these young children were like running LA and they would pull up in these cars and they'd get out. And there was mobs of them. Like there was like flash out. mobs of like these toddlers that were just strolling <laughs> through Boa. and just and, coked out at Boa. Yeah, and then, you know, the, the waiters and waitresses have to explain to them what Brussels sprouts are. <laughs> and it's such a, it was so crazy. And only in LA does that happen. Like New York where I'm from, which is like a, re- a real city, We don't allow that. You can't have that happen. But here, like Saddle Ranch became one of the biggest restaurants in Los Angeles. Saddle Ranch is objectively disgusting. It's chicken fingers. It's people eating chicken fingers. But these children, these, these, you know, these kids made it like a famous. So it's interesting to me. And I realized, like, I'm like, behind the scenes, it's got to be crazy, right? Everybody's <laughs> fucking each other, drugs. They hate their parents. Yes. Like, fuck you. Felt that. You know, what do you think? <laughs> they love Trump, probably many of them, I'm guessing. And, you know, you know, so I like, you know, because I want to see that. I want to see, like, the real shit. And then the Hype House show, which is very dull and kind of disappointing to me. Yeah. Because it was everybody trying to be a good person. 
like I know everyone's politically correct now and has to be for their brands, but like mm. I want to see the real shit. Like I want to see Addison Ray go. I love Trump. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think she did. Well, well, because the thing is, I'm she's pretty sure from, she said that. She's <laughs> from Louisiana. She's she's full of crawfish and hate. Let <laughs> let it. But it's funnier if she and and I get it. There's things I love about Trump, but like I can say that. But with. <laughs> With people, you know, sir, certain people have to, no. you know. No, we would 100% just love to see her own it. I agree. We want to see people own it. That's that's the exact, that's the thing. You know, Madison Ray just came out and said, you know what? I said hi to him at that event. Yeah, and fuck I y'all. Love you. <laughs> fuck fuck y'all. y'all. Everybody from where I grew up loves him. We love him. <laughs> fuck y'all. Oh I've been in God. this town 15 minutes, you know, like. I think I'm so I just hope that one day. They make a real show. Now, it may need to be years later when all the brands have gone away and everybody's yeah. getting out of rehab because that is what's going to happen. That's where it gets tricky um, because, for real. No, it is for real because, I mean, you just can't, you know, it's kind of... I know. It's insane, I think, because a lot of my life is kind of seeing that, you know, like all these yeah. kids with, and what they actually do. And that's that's what we try but to do here. they've done it. Like, Here's what I always say. Strip that away. You did it. You're 18. You're a millionaire. You're fucking the hottest people in the world to you. You're 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 on top of the world. To you, Sammy. It's not gonna <laughs> get you, it's like well in their world, right? In their you know, it's not gonna get better. What it do you, doesn't get better. What right? do you think of Bryce Hall? I like him. I like him a lot. My favorite thing about him, I really do like him. My favorite thing about him is after he lost a fight, he went, "I'm not a fighter." I never said I was a fighter. <laughs> it was the greatest line. It was one of the funniest lines because he had said he was a fighter. But the best way to deal with it, the best way to deal with it, which was kind of a brilliant thing. I don't know whether he did it on purpose or not. When he said, Definitely I never purpose. said I was a fighter. It was the funniest, best <laughs> way to deal with it because it gives everybody nowhere to go. It's just, it's the ultimate <laughs> troll and it's fucking great. He's but he, he seems I wish to that, be a fun I wish with guy. Bryce it was like purposeful. Like think, he definitely I like, he, no, I think I love Bryce. I, don't know, I think was, he said that yeah. with his chest. I think oh, he, he meant like, it. He, he genuinely well, whatever believed. it was, it was like the brilli- <laughs> it was the most brilliant thing to say at that really moment. Was. But he's he got heart, you know, yeah. the kid's got heart and, you know, good for him. <laughs> Not Miami. a fighter though. Not 40 a street fight. I think he did okay. It, it made me think of him. It's weird as an adult to watch children, because some of them were kids. Not all, A lot of them were like built dudes, but then there was like, some of them were like literal children <laughs> who couldn't fight and are just going like this. And I'm like, man, I don't know how great it is for our society to just be watching these 12 year olds pummel each other, out of each other for like Rockstar Games or who's ever sponsoring this, you know? But hey, people enjoy it. Sincerely. Would you ever fight? Who would you fight? Chelsea yeah. Handler. Oh my God. Oh my I'd God. lose. I I'd love lose. that bitch. So I'd lose, but I would, I would. Please. You know, we'd fight, I think. I found this. um... Yeah, this is a terrifying image that someone painted. A lot of my fans are in the depths of a very long, dark despair. (laughs) For you. Yeah, no, I I, I imagine. I imagine. It's so true. When you did that whole thing about your stalker, I'm like, is it one stalker? It's got to be like a a, a, a a percentage of your fan base is creepy. (laughs) <laughs> right? Because you have yes. the OnlyFans thing happening. Yeah, it's either like oh, yeah. gross men who, you know, they're just they're just jerking their meat to my shit. Right. Or it's or it's, you know, young traumatized girls and or guys who want to be like me, which is also I'm praying for them as well. Yeah. It's a lot of the mix. But do you get fan art? Do people paint you? And yes. Say, yes. Some people paint me and this is a really scary. I found it in my image. makeup chair here. I came it has here. a very bad energy to it. Well, number one, there's a nuclear explosion in the back. Oh, that's <laughs> a minor detail. Just to let detail. you know, that's where, they, that's where they are in their head. There's a nuclear bomb, I believe. Yeah, I know. Uh, which is not, I get it. You like, look gorgeous, though. That's very sweet. It's very uh, sculpted. Well, yeah, yeah I've kept wary. it. Cross-eyed. I've kept it, though, as a keep creepy it. Tim Dillon fan. It's Please been here. Please keep it. We got here day one, and it was just here by the makeup yeah. chair, and I was like, this is a sign. Wait, why? Yes, keep it. I have no idea why it was here, actually. I'm just really happy that it's here. I don't know. Yeah. Um, But I want to talk to you about so many things, I guess. I mean, I want to know. I, I, like, I just, I found you probably, like... Like six months ago. Yeah. Like it's more of a new thing. I was actually yeah. fucking this guy that I've known since high school. Yes. And we stopped fucking for him to show me you, which is kind of a strange thing. It's an odd place to inject me into. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I was naked. Like, it was like round two was happening. And yeah. it was like, check out Tim Dillon. Right. But then I was like, whoa, I love Tim Dillon. And that was how things kind of came about. Well, I appreciate that. And I've been curious. Like, how long have you been doing this? 
I've been a comedian since since late 2010. Really? And I started doing a podcast in 2015. Yeah. And it started getting popular, I would say, in like 2018. Yeah. And and uh, I moved to LA about that time. Really? And I focused on like making sketches and doing a podcast and doing more shit online because I love stand-up and I do a lot of stand-up and, and uh, I love the art form of stand-up. But mm-hmm. as you know, the internet's the future and it's the mm-hmm. now. It's not even the future. It's literally... This is where you got to be. So I just focused on being funny online and then just kind of doing the stuff that I wanted to do. What made you want to be a comedian? My mother's a schizophrenic. (laughs) Me too. Um, I started doing coke at 13. Really? I think same. Can I I, say you relate to the hype house kids? So I mean, I had a giving hype house. (laughs) I had a fucked up childhood. Yeah, it was. I was doing all the things they were doing, but it wasn't in a mansion. There was no mansion. (laughs) There was no fucking. You know, and I was yeah. also like, I could have, you know, like maybe, you know, built a brand, but I had no idea. I was, there was nothing to do, right? Yeah. Except, you know, do blow in the suburbs and do a lot of drugs and felt yeah, wait, where are you from? Did you Long say Island, that? New York. Oh, okay. A few you, towns from Lindsay Lohan. Oh, okay. Ooh, thoughts on Lindsay Lohan. Guys. Thoughts on, have you ever met Fun, her? Fun, like her. Like, everyone from Long Island, I like because even though they're, you know, often horrible people, <laughs> and I don't know that she is, I don't know anything about her, but I like, um, I like that she's, you know, real. Like she's real to me. She's yeah. not really a great actress, and <laughs> Most yet, aren't. yeah, she's not really great at that. And so the way I think she's the, like amazing. That's what's like yeah. awful about my. Well, her, yeah, no, well, you're you're mentally ill, and that's okay <laughs> because you. But she's not great, and the music is not great. Right? The music oh. is crazy. It's really awful. But the people like that are my idols. You know, I'm I, like I, I want to make I, shit music. I get. I like that she's still around. Alive. Even though we can't point to one thing she does and go, that's good. She was in Dubai for like 10 years. Yeah. That is like literally that. why she's my idol. You cannot point to yeah, one thing I do and say that's good. One thing and go, that was a good thing. Thank you for that. It is a, really, it is a talent in itself, though, to capitalize on having it's very talent little talent. It's a talent in itself to just hang on. Hats off to that. Just hang I'm on. I'm fan, baby. With those nicotine stained fingers, just grab on the fame <laughs> and just keep it going. Currently yeah. actually a amazing. nicotine amazing. stained nail. I mean, that's amazing. It's awful. How, do you smoke weed? Have you ever smoked weed? I, I, I have, but I'm sober now. So I don't do anything now. Why'd but you go sober? Well, I thought it was the right move. I mean, I was like, I, think I feel that 25. I was like, I got to get serious about my life. And, you know, maybe and I'll do it then. It 20, I'm 25. Am how I supposed old to are get you serious now? 23. It's amazing how much you've done at such a young age. Thank you. That's crazy. You are literally. My no, but it's, it's, a, it's a it's a it's I don't think of you as 23. You look young, but I think of you as someone. <laughs> I don't think I look that young. <laughs> well, I don't either, but I'm just I'm just walking it back. But I think of yeah, you. Yeah, you're looking old. I th- I don't think she looks old, but I think of you as established and oh, and you. mature. Well, I love that. It's all yeah. a facade. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, but I I had a scandal for being 40. Like people actually right. like show your ID. I had to tweet it. Like it was like well, a Whitney Cummings scandal. claimed she's 37. You know? Yeah. Fair. Yeah. yeah like, so I mean, so knows? anyone could just. She's so hot, though. Up. You think yeah. she is very hot for someone who's in her early fifties? <laughs> Why is that literally me? You know, uh. it, yeah. But Whitney says she's thirty-seven, so anyone can say anything, and that's the beauty of this town. Do you think she'd fuck me? I think if there was a brand deal involved, she would fuck anything. And why is that me? I mean, everyone says yeah. that. No, I-, I mean Whitney. If there's a brand deal around, Whitney will do Kegels with the Demilio girl. She doesn't <laughs> care. Oh. Uh, I, I, I went over her house one night. The cast of Cheer was there. I'm like, what is what? Is, what? <laughs> show cheer what does this have to do? Show. So it's all these like little meth head girls who do <laughs> cheerleading. And Whitney Cummings is like dancing in the backyard. And they're all on ketamine. And, you know, I mean, God love them. But it, it's and I'm impressed by it. Right. Because that I mean, again, it's like just you got to stay irrelevant. You got to stay in the game no. no matter what you have to do. Have I done ketamine to stay relevant? Absolutely. Yeah. I completely, like I resonate. Night. No, I actually don't really like ketamine. It makes me feel like a horse. A tranquilized no, horse. I, I'm not actually, a horse. That's the, the point. Yeah. I know, but it's awful. Have I used to ketamine? do it and I enjoyed it. MDMA, they say they're ecstasy, really ketamine. depressed. I've done it by accident. Enjoy ketamine. Only. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I just decided to kind of cut all of that stuff out, but I have problems. I'll smoke cigarettes occasionally and I'll eat the wrong foods and that yeah, king crab a- gnocchi at Bo is really good. Oh my God. But you that. look great, and I notice you eat a lot of shit. I eat awfully. You eat really badly because I watch her Instagram stories. Rotting burrito, like from three days ago. It's balanced out by the way that she doesn't wake up until you eat like a Dallas housewife with one leg. What I couldn't agree more. You do. No, I see what she eats. She's just putting broccoli and like cheese. 
But you it's look great. Broccoli, broccoli baby. We haven't had that in fucking years. So, but no, you look um, great. Well, thank you so, so, so yeah. much. I really, I, it's, it's gonna catch up to me. There, like, there's just. Oh no, it will. Yeah, <laughs> like, there's gonna be <laughs> yeah. a day where, like, a yeah. couple years from now, I'm just gonna be 26, yeah, and I'm gonna, gonna, be gonna look like, down the street. Yeah. I'm gonna look like Donatello Versace at like by 26. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think Tana is a super spreader? <laughs> that, no. no, that honestly was the question. I just didn't want to be the one to say it. <laughs> no, I, I think I think listen, the reality is a lot of the influencers are young, they're healthy, they're in good shape, they're not at a, a ton of risk, <laughs> right? They're not in a, an insane amount of risk, right? It's not like you're going into nursing homes and popping your pussy while people Dude, are don't dying. Don't underestimate my girl. You know? No, I I mean on Honestly, I would bought my pussy in a nursing home. That's no, not I, my yeah. demographic, so That's I haven't. Not your demo. Yeah, yeah, haven't been there yet. But I mean, I get what you're saying. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not making out with Bryce Hall in a nursing home. Live line. And I watched the whole stalker story. That's so. And insane it's to it me. is it is crazy. You're a great communicator and you're funny. And it's sad that people are stalking you, but we. It's also yeah. really good. For I don't the think brand. I'd have anything if it wasn't for the stalker no, story. No, you so need I'm, to have people trying to climb in your windows and kill you. I couldn't agree more. It keeps you uh, fresh. I'm also, <laughs> yeah, I'm completely for clout. If anything, though, I think if my life was just stable and boring, I would be really dissatisfied. Right. So, and that's definitely like a therapy thing. Like I should probably yeah. figure that out. But I mean, no, I think if, look, I identify with that. You got to keep the chaos. Yeah. Are you a chaotic yourself. person? Have you ever think, cheated on someone? Um. In the gay world, there's no such thing as cheating, really. <gasps> really? See, this is why I'm yeah. pansexual. Is, that's a loophole to... for you. Yeah, there's no, I don't. Can you, yeah. tell, can you actually verbatim tell that to every girl I've ever dated? Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, well, that might be different, but I, I feel like there's more freedom there than the straight world. But not, not always. Me. No, but if you're living that life, I'm serious, hats off to yeah. you. Yeah. Like, so, so, yeah, do you, do you date often? I have people I hang out with more than well, like like, but I don't know if it's like a formal thing where like it's like we're gonna get married. Like in the straight Still world, that. it's like things build to things, which is and, awful. Yeah, well, not for some they people. Don't, which is how it works. Or they don't, but like, <laughs> I think it like for a lot of it's like we're we're having fun. I'm having fun. Hopefully, have you ever been in love? I think maybe. <gasps> Wait, think do you maybe. feel like you possess? Um, non-emotional or sociopathic tendencies? Or Absolutely. I think if you, you kind of have to in this town to have like some level of success. I agree. I think oh, everyone. I'm not like, I'm, I'm like, darn it. I think it's a spectrum <laughs> of so sociopathy. Emotional. Like I'm not, no, but you, you know. We love you. Like we, I think I, in, I in the LA I have world, narcissistic tendencies, but I'm also like so emotional. So I don't yeah. have like the sociopathic. Sad. Yeah, and that's what makes you a far better individual. You than can't me. feel emotional, everything. I'm also far less successful. <laughs> no, you can't feel everything in LA, right? You have to put some yeah. of it. You have to tuck it away and and, and push yeah. it down. And I'm trying to feel anything. In deal LA with it later time. or after your death. Um, because you know what's funny about doing this is everyone that comes on here have such a history with. One hundred. Like everyone who's come on uh, comes on here like you've slept with or you like. No, yeah, yeah you, no, one hundred. Stop there. That's, that's sex true with a lot of them, or you've been in relationships with them, or they. That you've stolen from them, or they've stolen from you, or you've been <laughs> no, in you a, might a be lawsuit the... with them, or you've they've called the cops on each other. There's been a domestic, a, a <laughs> PE, a breaking and entering, no one pressed charges. You... Like there's been a lot of like when I watch it every now and then, there's such a deep history, and I feel like because you've never like tried to attack me with anything. You are one yeah. of the yeah. first guests I haven't slandered, fucked, or sued. Yeah, I'm new. You yeah, know? so no, I'm scared of me. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, no, you're and you're just so enamored. Like, usually the podcast, you'll sit down, someone will sit down, and you're like. All so right, you ate my ass. This is my bestie. You ate my ass. I tried to kill you. Water under the bridge. I, and it's so it's, awful that I'm like that. Yeah. I just really have to stop doing that. Well, it's, you know what it is? The people love it. They the really people do. need it. You're like <laughs> Tina Turner, but you beat yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if there was no oh I. I couldn't. I actually, I really do think I beat myself often metaphorically, if anything, right. with the ways I choose to ruin my own yeah. life. Yeah. It's awful. I now was the in, canceling, what, how it gets wild with the YouTubers. I was just gonna say, yeah, it's yeah. it's crazy because I used to really live and think it was the end of the world. I remember the first time I was canceled, I was like, oh, I'll just kill myself. It's right. fine. I lived and I now I'll die, and it's you know yeah. it's nothing else. I the first time, not oh okay, yeah. Um, now it's it's you know you build up a wall to it. And I, well, I think I also kind of came up in this influencer space, and the canceling in the beginning was like detrimental, life ending. You think it's all over, right? Because it's a mob you know, of people telling you all the time to like kill yeah. yourself. And everything. you think everything you've That's worked for is That's like the D'Amelio show, which was, was kind of funny, where it's like the girls, cause you know, the parents are like, you know, cause they have no interest I'm scared. in- scared. No, no, I'm not gonna say anything, but I just, what's great about those parents is they have no interest in fame or money. None. So what's funny about that show is they were like, 
They were like, um, yeah, if it ever gets too much for the girls, we'll yank him out of L.A. Literally the first episode, the girls are like, everyone's saying I should kill myself. And they're like, <laughs> wipe that turn off your shoulder. They're like, sometimes I don't want to live. They're like, come on, get out of here. <laughs> and then they're like, if it ever gets too much, if it's ever too much, if it ever hurts our family, we're moving out of here. They're in like a huge castle. They're like, yeah, if it's ever too much. <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm not going to lie. I respect them. because I, think I respect them too. Well, they're better parents than most. Like I was just in an sure. LA club. Well, they, the didn't, they haven't sued the girls yet. Right. right. Because, yeah, so my standards are also, yeah. you know, bare minimum. It's basement. I was yeah. in an LA, <laughs> I was in an LA club the other night and one of the more famous uh, parents in this space, I won't say who they were, Dude. I saw them doing a bunch of cocaine and I was was like holy shit yeah 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 he, everywhere um i know who it is they were i know who it is no, no, no. Trying to hook I, I, by the way, I absolutely know who it is and you yeah oh totally so much cocaine yeah and they're they're the parent of this fun like, guy though can we be honest super fun guy <laughs> what no. is he supposed to do go to the library 100 no, percent. life no, worked like, out at listen least... if you have a daughter or son and they're making tens of millions of dollars jumping on a trampoline, you are supposed to go out to LA and shove grout in your face. <laughs> Honestly, truly, I guess my thought in that my head in that moment was like, at least the D'Amelios don't do cocaine. Again, I'm at the right. bare They are great though, I, I do love them. But I the them other too. parents, as you canceled listeners may know, Brooke and I love to talk about money. Yeah, we do. With inflation at a 39 year high and rising, as well as COVID whipping the stock market into turmoil, there's never a better time to rethink your portfolio mix as well as how to make your money work for you. Most normal people have their money in stocks, bonds, and cryptos. Though every billionaire we've spent time with invests in fine art. These billionaires wake up early in the morning to bid on art auctions and watch their wealth appreciate far more rapidly over time. That's what they say. According to City, art significantly outspaced the S&P 500 from 1995 to 2000. This is why the wealthy allocate an average of 10 to 30 percent of their wealth into the art market. And the Wall Street Journal called it one of the hottest markets on earth. Not to mention, the ultra wealthy have been diversifying their portfolios with artwork for generations. And now with Masterworks, you can too. You no longer have to be a billionaire to invest into fine art. Thank goodness. Masterworks is diversifying the art market by allowing everyday investors to own a piece of iconic paintings from blue chip artists like Picasso, Warhol, and Banksy at an affordable entry point. So while making great art is difficult, investing in it is easier than ever. Even better, they're giving canceled listeners priority access to their newest offerings. Start building an intelligent portfolio today at masterworks.art slash Tana. That's masterworks.art slash Tana. See important disclaimers at masterworks.io slash disclaimer. Thank you, Masterworks, for sponsoring today's podcast and keeping it artsy. It's giving Picasso. Yeah. Would you ever have a kid and make them famous? Would you be <laughs> if I had a parent? child, yeah. it would only be to make them famous. I would never <laughs> want them to have any other experience on the planet than being as famous and rich as humanly possible from the youngest <laughs> age. Like if I could train my two or three year old to start thinking in terms of I brand identification like early, I would. I have no interest in a child that's like trying to read books or form relationships. No, all they're reading is talking points. Yeah, no, I want <laughs> I want fame. Now, what happens to these kids? Because, you know, some of the MagCon, you remember the MagCon kids. Yeah. Some of those MagCon, Mag MagCon kids, you know, it's it's rough. You see I'm on places. and off dating a MagCon kid. It's awful. Well, Can God bless. Can you tell her to be off? Yeah. But is it Go hard ahead. when, because, you know, is it hard when you grow up in that influencer space no, I I mean, I, I look at like... Is it difficult to transition in other things? It seems like it. Like Cameron Dallas was the face of MagCon forever. And I, I like, I've known him for a long there time. There was that show on uh, Netflix, yeah. Chasing Cameron. He used he to He seemed like a be, nice dude too. He like used a to good be a guy. monster though, insane. Oh, I didn't know. Like, no, but I just mean partying insane, right. fucking oh. bitches insane. Insane, like more right. than anyone I've but ever seen. But that's the point. But now he's like, our God is greater. And he's fully fucking But that's what you do. Yeah. After it's over, you move to Orange County, you marry a baseball player and you go to one of those churches where they rock out and they go, Jesus wants you to own a boat. And you just, <laughs> and you dance around because there's nothing left to do. It's really you the way that's the plan. all the happiness out of you. So there's two things left to do. Drugs or Orange County Christian Mosaic 
culture. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm taking notes. Like that is yeah. in two years. I think God I need bless, to be that. God bless, man. I don't. I see you choosing drugs, actually. I do too. But I'm just saying, if in the off chance I can somehow choose the the I'm latter, hoping, listen, I'm baseball player, Orange County. God wants you to have a boat. That would be great for me. But like I, I think that that's what a lot of the influencers end up doing if they don't. Like Sean Mendez transitioned into this massive career. Yeah. Do you mm. think that like the MagCon kids are like people who grew up in that era, like regret it? Like, cause now they see like Addison. Rae well, I think what them. happened is like, there was no infrastructure there. Like people, people were podcasting years ago and there was no money in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think with those kids or whatever, I don't know much about it, but I think there was not an, an infrastructure to build the type of businesses around them. Yeah. That now, cause now like. Which leads to great depression yeah. as well. I'd be yeah. so fucking depressed. Because here's the thing, this. like you see these kids now and they just people descend upon them and show them how, like, I remember like your Josh Richards is like a business guy. Yeah. And he's like doing all these, you know, Yeah, and things. Josh Richards is almost modern day. That's Cameron what Michael Dallas, Gruen, which you know? would be crazy. You know, Michael Gruen. Oh yeah. So Michael Gruen would put me in group texts with like TikTokers and then big business people. And I didn't know why I was in any of them. And Michael Gruen would just text me and go, Tim, meet Warren Buffett and Bryce Hall. And I'd go, <laughs> what are we doing here? It's and so fucking Gruen's dream famous for just putting you in a group text with people that have nothing. He's like, here's Eric Schmidt that uh, runs Google and, uh, you know, Ryland Storm. I'm like, Who, what is this? Why are we doing this? But it, it, that's actually it works. actually so true. They like the Magcon kids were unfortunately the blueprint for kind of doing it without that accessibility. So but it Gru- is so nuts. Gruen's one of those dudes who like helps P- these kids make money, right? Oh yeah, he's a oh, smart yeah. guy. Oh yeah, he's like you know he God, but this. he just got a gastric. He's doing good. They saw him in half, and oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, like a, a bypass. I didn't. Yeah, I don't he's know open him. about it, and he's loving it. I know him. I don't know a lot about him. I just hear really wild rumors about him. He's always. an yeah, amazing, almost, oh. he's a legendary guy. He's a Batman villain. <laughs> Is he? Yeah, he's an amazing guy. I, I'm a huge fan. Okay, I love that. I really don't know Michael a lot Grove. about him, but I mean, that's it is incredible. Have you ever been like canceled in this space? What do, how do you feel about cancellation? People get mad at me all the time for many different things. I have and no I'm, idea why. I, I don't mean to ever do that, but I just don't know how to not do that. And my friend Joe Rogan does a very does that too. Um, because he told everyone that freshly fallen snow cured COVID. And <laughs> is it not? So he, now people are finding out it does not, but he he believes that is a treatment. Now, people are upset about that. Uh, So I think you just have to learn how to, you know, roll with the punches, right? I'm lucky enough to have a job where I get to talk shit and make money. Mm -hmm. So when I talk shit, people get mad and that's part of it. And that's cool. That's cool. As long as they don't start going at your money. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what sucks. That's when I think it's too far. That's why you have a good place. Because if anything, I think in the influencer space, if you are canceled, that's exactly what they go with your money. My thing is I have a Patreon where I have a podcast and I have like 40,000 people that subscribe. We're like the number two show on Patreon. Um, I I wouldn't because I cannot compete with you in that space. I can compete with you here. But I would love to see a Tim Dillon. Only it man. might be great. It might be great. I think so too. I feel like, like you might have a different like target market situation. For sure. Like, you know what I mean? I always the wonder, like, do you think that she has <laughs> like mostly men or like, do you think you have a lot of like fans who are just like, oh, wonder what she's posting. And they're like, oh, what's that? Both. Honestly, absolutely both. I, yeah, I could see you like jacking off the comedy and I could like really. Well, you put it. a lot of work in your only fan. Yeah, you I do. work so hard. No, I see like <laughs> photos of you. You dr- you dress up like little Bo Peep and everything. Like <laughs> you yeah, really she's give them up as little Bo Peep right now. Like, don't you do like a Little Mermaid and, and then you like oh, it's a Little Mermaid does anal. Like you do, <laughs> you give them a lot. That's a real one. See, honestly, I'm gonna write down that idea because I need to get on that. No, absolutely. Um, I've yet to do any porn though. Well, that's um, true. But I'm. But I honestly like. What do you think? Do you think? What do you think? <laughs> about you and porn? Do you think I should transcend? I think at this point, I feel like we all feel like you have even though you haven't Mm -hmm. that's the whole thing (laughs) we feel like you have so i feel like you shouldn't so true because we all like if you put a gun in my mouth and said is tana mojo done porn i would say oh yeah (laughs) and i think everyone would would feel that you've done that so i feel like you've done it without having to do it like you never had to do it but you've done it and the sad part is is i'm so demented that i'm like i still would like want to now what's what is interesting you about it's just the, the idea of getting paid (laughs) <laughs> good, I think it's the controversy making of it all. The, the making, controversy, yeah, like yeah, uh, she's one hundred percent right. Just the, I don't know the idea of it. Just sounds so Would you like the negative attention. Tape? That's what I want. I want to do it so bad. I just have I I've yet to come across the perfect opportunity. You've got to find the right she's person. Like if anyone yeah. wants to fund it, yeah, no, and yeah. if anyone, yeah, if anyone wants to fund it, and yeah, anyone, who would, with, who would you be your dream sex tape uh, counterpart? 
I, I'm honestly just looking for extreme fame. Oh, okay. Which right. is all, no, but Kanye. not so yeah, Obama, like literally Kanye. Like what? Oh my I would God. Far, die to fuck Obama. Obama. How far I'm are we gonna go bill, here? I would pay every dollar I've ever made just to see Obama in a sex tape. I would die just rude? to fuck Obama. Yeah, right. he's, he's do you hot. know Obama is like my number one celebrity crush? Probably. I had no idea. <laughs> I literally, I just said that. I had no clue that it was. No, I, I really, I, I really like. There's just something about Obama that really does yeah. it's the voice. But that's awful. Now to you're say. women. You do women and men. You're all over. It's fun. It's great. I love everyone. Yeah. It's it's absolutely insane. It's which is way worse for me. Obviously, I think you know. Are there a lot of people like that in the influencer space that are kind of like everyone's just good looking and rich? And it's like let's all just fuck each other. One hundred percent. And that's yeah. that's the thing is it's like I'm very. Are honest. the dudes like that? Or they're more, they're more. Yes. Th- no, the guys are almost worse. I, I'm yeah. just, I'm honest about it, and everyone's like, "Oh my god, she's such a slut," and I'm like, "Your favorite, yeah. you know, like goody influencer." But girls can be more honest about it than dudes can. You think so? I'm loving I think that. So. For, no, for sure, for sure. Because there's girls, still a girls, stigma. Girls experimenting and stuff is like hot, and then guys get like scrutinized for it. Right. Like, yeah, there's a stigma with dudes. I think. I guess. I mean, I really don't know. I just, it's funny for me to see all these goody influencers. I'm like, damn, I wish people didn't think I fucked everyone when I did sometimes like them, you know, like right. it's, it's kind of iconic and good for them, but yeah. I don't really know. Um, what else do I want to know about you? Talk to me about the NFT space. Um, I, I'm going down to see the Nelk guys tomorrow and they're going to, I'm sure they'll talk to me, but it's weird. It's, I think it's interesting because I think maybe, and I, um, this is the hope is that it just gives people more freedom like artists, creators, comedians, musicians, more freedom to build a fan base and not participate in this legacy system of Hollywood that may or may not work for them, right? So you may be an incredibly talented person. Hollywood may not work for you. So in, in, in for you to go directly to market, direct, you know, figure out a way to kind of issue NFTs that may give people, you know, that'll allow people access maybe, you know, right now it's very art. Yeah. And it's the space is crazy because everybody's like apes, pictures of apes are selling for a half a million dollars. Yeah, so awful. people are like looking at this going, what the hell is this? Yeah. And, and right now there's a lot of people in the space that just want to make a lot of money. But I think long term, you might see people issuing NFTs that have real, real value, intrinsic value. And those, you know, those contracts will give you access to certain things. It might be live shows. It might be bonus content. It might be. Um, you know, merch, whatever it is, it's a way to kind of, you know, monetize stuff. I don't know so a word he just said. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you do. I know. I just, I'm I'm just you know, you've had meetings. I'm you know the deal. Kidding. You I'm, will turn your labia into an NFT. That's what I'm saying. You know what you're doing. That's about as far don't as I know. Don't play dumb. You're I know, a savvy I'm, woman. I'm actually just joking. You're a I was savvy just, woman. It was a good time to make that joke. But um, yeah. no, my thing lately has actually just been hitting on rich guys and making them buy me NFTs and then acting like I know so and much it about interesting. them. Interesting. It's been working really, really well. Yeah. And that's so, yeah. So I'm, I'm using that. Now, will you do like an indecent proposal? You're in Vegas. Somebody goes half a mil to fuck my husband. You're in. Duh. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Is the sky blue? <laughs> Do bears shit in the woods? Are you kidding me? See, that I love. That's what I love about you. It's, that's what that I like. That would be awful if that's I That's what that. I like. Yeah. Half a million, baby. You're upselling the right. fuck out yeah, of yeah, me. Yeah, it's a good point. I was being very kind. <laughs> but know, I get it. Yeah, so I'm nice. with it. It's actually funny. My friend, she sugar daddies a lot. And yeah. she is always going to meet with these like billionaire sugar daddies. And I'm like, I want to fucking go so bad. Like, please, yeah. like, I want to do that with you. And she's like, do your fucking brand deals. And I'm right. like, why would I? Like, why? Just like, hop on a cock. It's yeah, it, easier. It's so easy. It's easier. Oh, and men are just so stupid. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? Like, it's just, oh my God. No. I just, I can't. How many energy, like drink, energy drinks can there be? You know exactly what I mean? Exactly my we get point. It. Yeah. Like, you know now, what do I you mean? have your own products? Have you gone into your own? Online. Yes, I'm about to release my wine called Dizzy. I know you don't drink, but I would love for you to come check it I, out. I will I will launch. give it to people. I'll come to the launch. See, and that's really hot. I absolutely I that. will come to the launch. I'm so excited. It's launching on the 25th of January. Dizzy. Um it's like she's <laughs> it's like, she's like hey, my new my new hard seltzer blackout <laughs> debuts tomorrow. It's an interesting way to look at it. You know, yeah. drink, drink at your own risk. Be cautious, be safe, be gorgeous. Of course, be cautious, um, be safe, but more importantly, be gorgeous. <laughs> I had yeah. one at the at the God photo shoot, us. and I was like really drunk. No, it, they they get you very drunk. I can't lie, but at the same time, I've been drinking for free since birth. Yes, you yes. know, and it's like, how much more time am I gonna you know work so hard no, to black out at the club? Now, what kind of is it a? 
Cabernet? Is it a? <laughs> do you even know what kind of wine it is? Or imagine are it's you like aware? a class. Yeah. It's like it's. Are delicious. you aware of what it is? Or? <laughs> like there's apples in it. Yeah. <laughs> is um, it a jug wine? Like what exactly? It's a sparkling white wine. It's like a Pinot Grigio. It's vibe. like a Grige. It's a Pinot <laughs> Grige. Yeah. Exactly well, that. Good. Um, no, I I did spend a lot of time curating it, which just means I drank so. I much wanted of to it come up with a steak day. sauce. It's very hard. You want to come out with a steak sauce? Yeah, we're we're in the works, but it's very very difficult. What would you call it? Um, I don't know. Racism? No, I don't know. <laughs> just following your lead of just calling it anything. No, literally, uh, it's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> uh, no, I have no idea. But it's tough, right? Because you cure you these products are not as easy to come up with because it you was want so them hard to be drinking good. so many wines until it was perfect. Right, like, I do forget. Know. That's yeah, probably well, fine. Well, by the time she got to uh, it, it was like she was drunk. She didn't know what it tasted like. No, right. I mean, she's not wrong. I mean, it was a lot of just drinking and tasting, but at the same time, it was perfecting it, making it perfect. Right. You know, I, I want it to be very on brand. You so. go out a lot. <clears throat> you party a lot. So Because it's part of the job. It's and that's what I tell myself on the third day of a of a LA club night bender that I'm it's just working so hard. Part of the gig, and you can get into any club in LA, right? You're just you're that person. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's one of my many talents. I'm so talented. Um, no, I, but yes, I mean, yeah. like if I just stopped partying entirely, I think that it would be so off brand if I went to rehab. Um, but like, actually, it is. No, yeah. you have to really. You I, have to go and party. I mean, like, I Paris Hilton was genuinely my mentor for a minute. Like, so I I took a lot in about you know the being seen, being the party girl, doing your thing for a part of your brand, and it for it does sure. work. And until you know, like I said, until it's showing physically, or I just croak. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing it. Well, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful story. When do you think um, it's an inspirational story? She did? Like now she's like a philanthropist. I don't know when I'll transition like her. I mean, the, wait, the who her... became a philanthropist? <laughs> <Paris Hilton? laughs> oh, does she? Does she is, what is she? Well, doing? now she's just know, like just married and a. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's. I don't think that's. I think that's provably well, she's untrue. Not no. doing what we're like. Well, no, now she. she you're one hundred percent right. Now she's not doing like what we're doing. She definitely is like fighting for good causes, and she's married, and she's, she's working with charities, and she's trying to get people out of the little home. What are the little homes? You know, <laughs> they like. I guess they like kidnapped her in the middle of the night and took her to this like home. It was like a correctional facility, and Who, they, like, they kidnapped her. Paris. Yeah, and they put her in a uh, correctional facility. Yes, her parents. I don't mean to be laughing. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, no, but there's oh and god. and and this was and there was no reason for it. Well, that's up in the air. Right. But <laughs> so now she's trying to get other people out. She's trying to, yeah. She's like, she's exposing the, these facilities and like ones. They alike. are. I had some friends get sent to them back in the day. It's 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 a thing that like the you know the parent or guardian pays for to send the kid away. But what happens at the but camp it's very is, inhumane. It's right. A, it's a bad yeah. situation. Yeah. Right. It's so like she's, who else got sent their bad baby? Wait, actually, I'm, that's a bad example. <laughs> oh my god. About, what do you think about that baby? <laughs> You know, I believe we, as a society, we have 30 to 40 years left before uh, there is just mass chaos and violence on the streets and the energy grid is maybe partially off and it is just an ungovernable society where we will descend into a small... Uh, Armies of people that fight uh, each other for resources in the street. Okay, but that that song, white horse, white bitch, white, bro, it ain't bad. It ain't bad. No, she's a white natural, Jays, she's you know whatever. A talent. I mean, it ain't bad. Her music's great. But there's got to be something said about a society where one of our biggest stars is someone who like threatened to like karate chop her mother in the throat on Doctor oh, Phil. Yeah, her mom fucking sucked. Though. My idol. <laughs> Bad baby's my idol. Yeah, yeah. No, she's I listen. I'm. I'm. I, she's good. We we use her music in a video once, and she didn't. She didn't. Uh, Sue. She didn't uh, copyright strike. I so. guess so. That's no. Oh, that's, that's so no. I'm. I'm. I'm with it. I'm with bad. Bad baby. And yeah, God love her. I feel like Joe Rogan right now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> No, it's only because you're probably one of the only Joe Rogan guests that would agree to come on my podcast. That is potentially true. It's so, but so I would true. love that to not be true. Mm. I would love more of Rogan guests to come here. Honestly, it would be amazing. But I, I would love you to go on Joe. 
I honestly, I would, I would absolutely die too. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but yeah, yeah, it's a little bit of a reach. You know what I mean? It would be an interesting uh, mixing of. People. I feel like he's made you a lot more like mainstream. It was almost when you first. He's started, a one hundred percent. Yeah. When you first went on Rogan, I felt like a little hipster. I was like, I knew him before. He, I blew he's up. he's he's like the amazing like you know he's the reason that I have anything going on. I mean, other your than dynamic the fact is that, incredible though, utterly. Well, incredible. he's a good friend of mine, so it's like a legit friendship. And yeah. I respect the hell out of him and what he's done for other he's comedians. Incredible. Yeah. He really is. I was watching you the other day and all the comments were like, thank God Tim Dillon needed to be here. We needed his insight. And what they yeah. needed your insight on was the Ghislaine Maxwell Jeffrey Epstein yes. trial. Which I, would, just I, I, I too would like to hear your insight yeah. on that. No, you were saying something about how you still believe there are kids going down a water slide at Epstein Island. Well, there's and, there's uh, here's the deal. What is it? Here's he's the faking? here's the thing. Here's the thing. Do you think Epstein, that was a great point, I think Brooke. it's wrong. Like, obviously, it's a tragedy. It's a horrible situation, right? This is this is the part. Daily no, Mail. No, 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 Say no. hi to Daily Mail, guys. <laughs> but here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Not everybody wants to work at the Gap, you know? <laughs> so a lot of kids lost their jobs. Yeah. Oh, that's oh I just got to tell you, man, it's the Gap. And it's horrible. It's bad. But the hype house can only have so many people in it. No, and one, do you think Brooke just made a really good point a second ago? Do you think that Epstein Island is now currently vacant? Yeah, like who's? Yeah, who's, no, it's vacant, but I think somebody will buy it because people don't care. Do you think it's like a house that someone just died in? Like there's a discount? Um, I don't think there's a discount for that island. I think oh. as I'm islands like, I'm about go, to put in an offer. No, somebody is gonna come buy it. <laughs> Nelk will buy it and they will they will open a crypto gambling casino on it uh, and, and I'm the first yeah. person there just like I'm the first person at TanaCon when you when you come bring it back yeah oh my god people I want I want to get booked at TanaCon when TanaCon comes back I'm having everyone saying would you go, realistically I would love I would love to, to, to do TanaCon. a comedy show at TanaCon you now the problem is going to be you're gonna need an umbrella first uh, of all. I'm gonna need well I watched that whole documentary and I was, oh, dude, was... the Jawline documentary. Shout out Shane. Fascinated me. And I did an episode on my show about it. Did it was you? very interesting. Yeah. I've never seen that. It As was a fan, very I've never interesting seen that. watching that documentary about people trying to make it as info. Because it's like every kid in America wanted to, you know, do the shit that you guys did, right? So they were like, they were like, they'd be like 30 people and they're like, hey, hey guys, it's just me. Love you guys. Checking in. And then it was so sad. What was crazy about it is like the fans, it's okay, the fans of these kids, you would think that they were just like, oh, they're cute, they're hot. But a lot of these fans were like, they're the only people that believe in me. You know, and you were like, oh, this is really like, wow. This, this I, I'd underestimated how deep the connection was between influencers and their fan bases. And yeah. the fan bases, a lot of times, were like really relying on that content. Like, they were like, they were very, like, the fit. They were like, we're really, really sad. And the only thing that makes yeah. us happy is I grew up connect with, with these people. It's crazy. That, so it is what, because it's a different thing. Yeah. Like the relationship that like people have with influencers as fans versus like actual celebrities is different because like the, you feel. No one cares about actual celebrities. Yeah. You, and you like, don't feel as honest. connected no one to cares. them as you do with like an, like, she's so, like, people come up to her and say things that are like not okay to just say to like a. No one cares. If Sandra Bullock was eaten by wild dogs, <laughs> it would be a news story, but no one would care. Like, no one would give a shit, right? Even though Sandra Bullock's an amazingly talented woman, no She's one really feels connected. connected. There's no yeah. connection to her. Right. Yeah. You're on your floor. People are trying to kill you. You're trying to kill them. You're crying. You're screaming. You're overdosing in a tub. People love that. <laughs> foreshadowing. They want it. Not the foreshadowing, please. Uh, yeah. No, um, you're 100. percent I well, I grew up like that. I yeah. grew up really connected to like. Who were the people that you watched? That's interesting to me. Shane Dawson. Wow, says yeah. a lot about me. He's OG. Yeah. That's the old school. I grew up like so. And Dolbrick, or is he like your contemporary, or was we he before came up you? at the same time? He's just yeah. far more successful, talented, smarter, everything than me. I so did, I look though. up to him. That was like, I, well, because I was a before I knew her, I was a fa like a fan, like a. Not of you, but <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like I was like a YouTube right. like, super fan. So I was like, I went came up with them and I was like, these are my best friends. Like if I saw them out, I probably would say something. Like, 100%. Oh it's, it is, it's a very so different So I'm like, like that dynamic. different generation of like, I grew up not with that connection. 
Uh, you know that was I, my struggle, honestly, with um, Joe Brick when he had his right. whole cancellation. Because like, well, he shot those people in the massage parlor in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, that's what I Dude, heard. That's and how that's, I found you. That's how I found that, you. And that was wrong. That's how but I, it wasn't that's racially the first thing motivated. He showed me, and it was his. Hysterical. That was the first thing I would ever. Would a guy ever like him laugh at that, or would he not laugh? At that? No, um, no. In in life, David, David, I feel like David when would we enjoy did your that, comedy. I wondered. I said, would someone like him think this is funny? Yes. I can say well, I can good. say yes to that. Like he, he would be terrified to publicly think that that's fine. Well, his no, it's well, not, no, not even publicly. Just terrified. Just like yeah. Privately, get a chuckle out of it. For the people that don't know, I found Tim Dillon uh, based off of a video when David Dobrik had first had a scandal where you were just. Why don't you take it away? What well, you I were just saying. said that because it was that Atlanta massage parlor shooting, and I, <laughs> I said this was wrong for David to have done, but I understand it, and I think we should let him have some of his brands back. And yeah. it was funny because it was, uh, you know, he didn't do it. That's yeah. why it's funny because he's innocent of that. Yeah. And, and, and that's what was funny about it. No, it's, it was, he definitely would think that's funny. It's more so also he has a lot of young people watching him. And he of cares course. about, he, unlike me, cares about maintaining a brand. Yes. And, um, you know, yeah. killing it in where he works. And he does. I'm, just, he, I'm taking it day by day. God love him. Yeah, seriously, yeah. he's great. I, I would love to see a Tim Dillon, David Dobrik interaction. That well, was, I'm, there's so probably funny. lots of people that would prevent that that, you know, are on his yeah, payroll. Yeah, there's a lot, of, yeah, yeah, a lot of people on his Yeah, <laughs> and sure I would, I would advise that. that. I would. I oh, get it. I would live, breathe, and die for it. I can't even lie. No, but I'm, I'm actually a big fan sorry. of you, too, because, like, you're a symbol of something. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, no, no, no. Truly, uh, uh, maybe, like, you got, maybe survival, but, like, <laughs> you work your ass off. Thank you. Literally. Mm. And Depends on the day. And, Talk and, to them. Yeah, like, he is I'm like, they are me, actually. It's awful. I'm no, one of those I mean, it's, When I see what you do, it's not easy. Like, I know everyone goes, oh, it's easy to party. And and collapse on the floor every night, but I don't think it is. That's hard work. I don't think it is. I you know, <laughs> no, I, it's I, I look at you and I go, you're, you're 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 killing it, and and in, in your in your way and how you do it, and I, and, and I respect that because gay guys like like a little bit of a mess. You're a little bit of a mess in a in a in a very good way. Did you know that in the last year, rates of anxiety and depression have doubled in the U.S.? No. These days, it can take weeks to get a traditional therapy appointment. Then if you are lucky enough to get through that, those traditional therapy sessions can add up to thousands of dollars a year. Luckily, we have Cerebral. Cerebral is an online mental health service that offers prescription medication, counseling, and therapy for anxiety, depression, ADHD, insomnia, and more. Cerebral is one of the few services that provides prescription medication online through a licensed provider and ships medication straight to your door. They provide unlimited messaging with your care team and with the Cerebral mobile app. It's like having your personal care team wherever you are. Connect with your counselor and therapist on your own schedule through your laptop or the Cerebral mobile app. Schedule sessions based on what's most convenient for you. You don't have to wait weeks to be seen, and you can do your sessions on a laptop or phone so you can always find an area at home where you're most comfortable. Cerebral's affordable treatments are one-third the price of traditional therapy. Treatment options are available with or without insurance. Cerebral is in-network for several insurers, and they're working every day to grow their partnerships. And even if you're out of network, they'll provide you with the necessary paperwork so you can easily submit a claim. And for listeners of the Cancelled Podcast, today you can receive 65% off your first month of medication management and care counseling at Cerebral.com slash Tana. Go to Cerebral.com slash Tana for 65% off your first month. That's just a total of $30 to get started. Join Cerebral today on their mission to make quality mental health care accessible and affordable for all. Join Cerebral today. Thank you, Cerebral, for sponsoring this podcast. If you were a straight man, you would hate me. All my straight friends, when when, when you said, uh, they were like, please take care of that. They're like, we we just went on When like, I said that, that I liked your podcast. Yeah, I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck women. They're like, it doesn't matter. She's so <laughs> she, hot. Like, like just. just the- oh, really? They're, no, they're into it. My friend Joe is such a big. Should I fuck your friends? That would mean we could get closer. Yeah, I mean. I would love sure. that. That's not how Some of them have wives, but I don't even think their wives care. Speaking yeah. of, uh, I guess, me and my brand and collapsing on the floor, someone who really has inspired me yeah. across my career, and not always, you know, she does some things that are very questionable. Is it's just Lane Max. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I apologize. Do you, know, do you know, actually, when I was with Jake Paul, we had a full-blown scandal where people, like paparazzi were following us at the house saying that we were trafficking children under I thought his that house. was real. I, I believe that. I, and I, people were calling me modern day Ghislaine. I did not know that. 
but I all I can say is I'm proud of you. <laughs> there is a certain level when you get accused of human trafficking, you're on the right Which path. Was- Awful. In this town. It you know insane. you're doing well in Hollywood when someone thinks you're trafficking kids. I guess that's honestly that's a, really a valid good point. point. It's a great point. <laughs> it's the goal. <laughs> it's the major goal. But I was going to say, I'm getting jokes, jokes. I'm not, again, at the time, I, I wasn't. Uh, uh, Trish, not, Paytas. Tr- yes, Trish Paytas. Yes, Trisha Paytas. The show that she had with Ethan Klein, Frenemies, I watched every episode. So did I. When so they used hysterical. to dress up. And yes. it was the funniest thing ever. What question. are your thoughts on Trisha Paytas? Well, I don't know much about her. I mean... I was going to ask yeah. like, what we were talking about earlier with Bryce and how he like he he you thought it was brilliant how he responded yeah. to the fight and how it was like almost unintentional. Do you think that Trisha is intentional in the way that she's chaotic? Or do so you think that's that if I don't know someone, I, I can't ever know that. But I will just say it's a whirlwind of entertainment and spectacle, mm-hmm. which is what I think that section of the Internet demands. And right. she does it right. 100 percent. And I think all of you guys to, to the extent I do it to the extent that I can in my little world of like my fucking crazy, you know, whether it's a video or saying whatever I say, like I think that she's kind of mastered that. Um, I, I, again, I've never met her. I don't know how much of something is planned and how much of something just happens or they organically, but whatever it is, it, it works because it's like, it's a circus yeah, and you're, you're at the circus and it's a spectacle. And that's what I think, the internet demands. 100% agree. I, yeah. I agree. I look up to her. I was hoping for some insight. I'll have to put you on to more Trisha Paytas. You need, I feel like um, you would yeah, really I don't know. I, enjoy The things I've seen, I mean, I can't stop watching. If I guess like that's the point. you like how chaotic she is, you would, oh my God. I mean, that's the point, right? To, to yeah. not want to stop watching. So Ever. whatever She's I've brilliant. seen, like, I've been like, this is really good. <laughs> like in the sense that not, it's not the Godfather, but. <laughs> You know what I mean? She's it's my, not like my. But I'm, when I watch it, I go, I, 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 I want to watch. I don't want to stop watching. You know what else I want to know your opinion on currently in pop culture before I move on to other things? Yeah, that I, talk I hope about. that's what I think. I'm honestly, it's. I've had so many guests on that won't speak on this right now, which is so ridiculous. I will. I yeah. I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's and it's not even that. Kanye, Kim, Julia Fox, Pete Davidson. Dude, don't know much about Julia Fox. Um. I g- good for Pete, right? I mean, I think Pete. I don't know anything about the dynamics Do of you the know Kanye Pete personally. I don't. We've met. Wow, He's a nice should. guy. No one's ever gonna help us. Here's the deal. <laughs> I don't know if if she broke up with Kanye and now she's with Pete, and there was no fuckery. Yeah. Then what's the problem? I don't know. No. Is there? Uh, there's other layers I'm unaware of. What are you? Did you? I've see? been focusing so much on the COVID and the the murder in <laughs> oh, LA. Yeah, I have tricky. forgotten to really get under this topic. Well, do you? Did but you, is there more going on than I know? Did Probably. you see the other day? So Kim had a birthday party for her daughter Chicago, and I stop and with Stormy. the names. <laughs> stop with this. I don't care how rich they are. Eventually, they're going to grow up and go. Stop naming me dumb shit. <laughs> Wait. So if you had a kid, would you name it like some typical ass? Like Abby, I wouldn't be like here's no. St. Louis. Like, it's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. And um, here's the deal with Kim and Kai. Kanye's a genius. I have a ton of respect for Kim. She works really hard. But you know, I'd name. I don't kid. know if that's a relationship that was going for the long haul because it seems like they have other you know plans. I right? mean, you just know I'd name my kid like White Claw. No, you'll you'll name your child anything that you know will come <laughs> to you views. with a check. <laughs> that'll and make that's the Daily beautiful. Mail is what it is. I you name know? the child check. No, I mean you'll you'll be like, this is my son, Blue True, and I think, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, <laughs> no, but what? Um, so Kim had a birthday party for the kids, and I guess Kanye wasn't invited. And he posted on his story. You really didn't see this. He was like, I didn't. He was like, I was n- not invited to the birthday party. No one will answer me. Da 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 da. And then I guess Travis Scott sent him the address. And then no, no, no. Tristan. No, Travis. I think. So um, so I think because okay. everyone's like, why? Why was Tristan there? Yeah, sent him the address though, whoever, and he was going, and then everyone. Did you not see the scandal? To know what happened when he got there. He, everyone just was like, "Oh, Kanye is finally there." Like no one would let him into his own kid's birthday party. That's fucked up. A lot of people were saying, "But is that like, Pete? Does Pete have anything to do with that?" Well, I right. Did you see Kanye? The men. Here's the way I feel about this: the men in the Kardashian orbit don't seem like they're ever running the show. No. It seems like they're kind of how could you right? 
So when you look at the way things happen and why they happen, I feel like I, I feel like there's just an inertia that the Kardashians are this powerful planet that moves things the way they move. 100%. So I, I think anybody in that orbit, in that web, you know, it's kind of hard to be. I want to get moved by one of the Kardashians. Calling the shots. Sincerely. I want to be Addison Rae by one of the Kardashians. Yeah. And it'll never happen to us. It's so awful. Oh, God. It's literally so awful. But um, so do you prepare for a post-Kardashian world? No. Interesting. When they die, I kill myself. I have nothing to live for. Oh, I, because I be wonder a because you know Kardashian world. There's they have so many successors now. They have this whole army of children that are just going to come. You may be them. right. That's so true. You may be right. They they are, the be. Kardashians. They may be the most enduring us. American dynasty. They ever. will. And Chris yeah. Jenner better than be alive the Roosevelt's years and years beyond us. The Roosevelt's, the Bushes, the the Rockefellers. <laughs> these are politicians. You can Google it later. <laughs> uh, but the point is, hey, Cardi told yeah, it's all right. It's not a huge deal. I, you were like, are they trap rappers? Yes, yeah, some That's of them. That's what I thought. Yeah. But no, no, no. I mean, it's weird that the Kardashians, man. But I get it. They're we. They're you know they've worked. I'm not even shameful it. about it anymore though. Like I feel like you're supposed to be ashamed of like worshiping the Kardashians. I'm not at all. I feel like that's like my that's like my religion. Well, I think I mean, that if it's gonna be somebody, it's might as well be them. And who else is really gonna you know teach me to remain scandalous and profit off of? Have yeah, you, not, you, not, you, don't have you don't have any you don't you don't have any dealings with them? Oh, I've had a lot of Kardashian scandals and interactions, but right. every yeah, time I talk I about completely them, completely separated from those. Just to be clear, <laughs> um, every time one of those happens, uh, it's it's just awful. I actually I, I she guess, has Stormy as her wallpaper, yeah, and um, she got canceled for that. I stupid. remember that. I got canceled that worldwide for having a meme of Stormy as my lock screen, but that's because all the Kardashian friends were like this. This is weird. And do they ever directly contact you? Do they leave like a dead animal on your stoop? How does it work? <laughs> they just send a hitman. How does it work? <laughs> My stoop. Yeah. Um, no, it, no, it's do just. Do they leave like, you know, like some type Well, of... everyone was saying it was like weird for me to have Stormy as my lock screen, but I just like loved the meme. I loved, like, I just like love the Kardashians. Picture. It's like a cute, exactly. Right. It's like a cute so, like, photo. It, but... The people who were making that weird was what was weird about it. Like at, for in, in some ways I'm like, okay, like I've never had a kid, so I don't know what that's like, but like, to make it this huge thing about how you're like this major creep because you have this cute ass kid on your wall. To be like, fair, if it was up. like someone's like secret child, I wouldn't be like weird. It was yeah, just, but that kid, you could Google Stormy and like. Is it? But some people would say some people would accuse you of going. You almost know that that's gonna get attention. It was never ever yeah. for that. I just thought it was like a cute photo and a funny meme. Like our friend group just had like it was like we. It was I just had like Stormy a funny... as my wallpaper. I, I changed it real quick though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I guess I was like friends with some Kardashian counterparts, so they were like, "This is weird," and I was like, "Oh, it is a little too close for maybe if it were like a stranger in Michigan, like that's it, probably it where I was like wrong." Normal, was like... but it was like you're like a no. It definitely you should have a stranger in Michigan's child <laughs> as your lock screen. <laughs> no, I, I meant like if a stranger in Michigan okay. had Stormy. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I mean, same thing. I don't. I don't even know. I I don't know. I don't know. If but you really survived. You got over that. Our current cancellation. Do you want to hear about it? Oh yeah, absolutely. What do we do? I want to talk to you about it. Um, last podcast, she was telling a story oh, about wow. um Logan Paul and Mike Malak, and this recent. I guess they uploaded a podcast today. I go to this party the other night with Sugar and I'm excited. And Jeff and all these people, and I'm walking around making greetings, talking to people, so on and so forth. And I walk up to a crew of people, and who do I see standing right there in front of the me? The girl. No. Good old Brookie. I said, Brookie, Brookie, why did you tell such an audacious story about me on the show? And she said the following. I'm going to take a second right now to apologize to you. I made a very severe error. And I said, do tell. <laughs> Do tell, Brooke. What, what kind oh, of error God. are we talking about? And she goes, well, all right, I'll just tell you. You know, I recorded that episode, and uh, I thought I had the whole thing figured out, and everything made so much sense. But a couple days after the, the podcast aired, the guy I was talking to for the past two years came up to me and said that the same girl that I defended Wanted to let him know that she has no gag reflex. She's on a fucking rampage. Took Bro, his, can I help? Took his, his finger in his girl's and mouth. put it down her throat to let everyone know or to let him know that she does not have a gag reflex. And I said, well, that's just a startling detail, isn't it? <laughs> I slandered Mike a bit. OK, I'll admit it. All right. I, I really believed the story I was telling, though. I sold it because I, I believed it. Yeah. And then I was wrong. 
okay? Um, well, the, yeah, that sounds wrong. The, Im- <laughs> the impulsives are mad at us. That's well, that they oh. said I sound that sounds wrong. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. I, I don't even know. We were just telling a story. Well, honestly, I was just listening to a story <laughs> about what happened with Mike and Logan. But then I told apparently- a very elaborate story about a lie that Mike told that I later found out wasn't like that much of a lie actually at all. It's still and up so in the, the air. Impulsives came for us today, and now we all have to come together because it's internet. Feud. Yeah, you know? but this is what's this is good. No, Mike called me today. And I think he was like hard at the fact that we were like all having an internet scandal, and I loved I'm, it. I just like I'm such a fan of Impulsive. I'm so glad they said my name. <laughs> like, they asked Brooke for a public apology. Should we give it right now? I think you should, Brooke. He okay. Yeah. First of all, he he said I believe you he, should. What his exact if for word, America to heal, Brooke, <laughs> that's Brooke what I'm for the United States of America to heal to end COVID, please just apologize now. <laughs> Mikey, <laughs> baby, I'm sorry for what I said. I do owe you an apology, and I love you, and I I won't slander you ever again. Well, I was just very but scared. But he did punch me in the face one time. <laughs> <laughs> I was just very scared because, as you know, a lot of people don't claim me, and Logan is like my brother, and that's one yeah, of Yeah, they're few. great. They, I love their show. Who's Ooh. the mad kind dude you're dating? We can't talk about it. Chris Miles. No, you can... Who else in my car? Um, well, you might have seen him on my socials, my face tattooed ex boyfriend. I may have. I probably have. I believe he I have. He looks like a doodle board. Yeah, he's he's a he's very he looks tatted. Like doodle Bob. What is it? Well, what little Zan, <laughs> little Zan. I know you put little Zan in your thing all the time. He called me. I got him two tickets to my show, but he didn't show I up. I am surprised he's, he's a that's nerve. Okay. I surpri- love little Zan anyway. It's okay. He's- I'm surprised he's in the right mind to almost comprehend. Your yeah, humor. I don't know if he is. He slandered he was me last come. night. I well, thought we were on great terms. Well, how did he slander? Well, Zan slandered me last We've night. We've been slandering him. Well, so heavy. I, I mean, I did this whole thing basically. I'll, I'll give you a quick um, summary. Yeah, but uh, my ex boyfriend and I had broken up because he found out about my other boyfriend. That he showed that's up. Usually, how it goes. Ain't that the way? You yeah. Know? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was like an episode of the. Maury how many show. boyfriends do you have at any given time? Seven. I like to keep it. I was gonna say two. Sorry, sorry. Seven, two, seven. You know. So like, the it other was the other boyfriend, a, a guy that he would know, or is no? It- um, and we were kind of on the offs. You know, we were like kind of broken up, and but right. he showed up to my house. It was like an episode of Cheaters. It was awful. Right. Um, and they were both there, both the boyfriends yeah. at once. It was awful. And so then he proceeded to send me a photo of my best friend sucking his dick, as one does. Well, that is uh, a, a move. For sure, for sure. It was a move. And so then he is best friends with Lil Xan. So I decided, of course, the natural reaction would be to go fake date Lil Xan. Right. You know, just to, to upset him. And um, so I was kind of, you know, balancing him and Xan. And then Xan didn't really like that. And so last night he was saying that I was sloppy seconds, which honestly. But what does fake dating entail? You just. Well, sometimes you fuck. No, it's okay. not. Fa- it's actually really not fake at all. There's okay. there's sexual relations involved. It's actually it's really not fake at all. Yeah, I what she said. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so Lil Zam was a little upset and he was talking to the paparazzi. But see, here's the thing is I taught him how to call paparazzi. So it was like, when are you gonna pay some homage to, you know? Let imagine like the person who has to take that call. <laughs> like, imagine the life of that person. <laughs> Like little Zan calls you and they're like, all right, so I what happened? Boa. I met Boa. They, they, they wanted to be a journalist and stuff and they're like, all right, so what happened? Yeah, okay. And But you are so fucking, tr- it's real, but it's not real. <laughs> it's and so what do you want to say? It's like that guy that used to follow around the TikTok kids. It was so weird. Used Fletcher, to, baby, I know that's his there. job. I get it's his job. It's just because he's like, you know, like it would be weird. He's like chasing these girls down the street. He's like, when are you getting your driver's license? It's like, <laughs> what's going on? Like, it's so, so, so true. Yeah. Have you ever been followed by these paparazzi? We no, call I, them get in, I get in like, people will write things about me and negatively, and but it's a different, it's not paparazzi. It's like, I'll get mentioned in certain articles about things I've said. I'm going to text them right now. Friends that I have. I They're going to be the Fletcher's outside. When I actually need to see a video of you being followed. The one you're talking about is called The Hollywood Fix. He's the more like. Yeah, The Hollywood Fix. Yeah, he, yeah. Would, he would like chase after the kids. He'd be yeah. like, what's going on with you and Ashley? And How's some kid would be like, I don't know, man. You know, we're like <laughs> Your friends. Your parents divorced. <laughs> He's like, we're like friends. And he'd be like, what does that mean? People are saying you're not friends. And somebody would be like, oh, yeah, like. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> it was a crazy thing to watch. No, you've ne- I've never, I, maybe this is horrible for me to say, but I've never thought about their lives. And it's 
That's awful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what uh, they're a horrible. Like horrible. It's a horrible life. But it's crazy life. because lately. It's a horrible life to chase children down the street and ask them uh, about their meaningless relationships. <laughs> you know, my it is a it. horrible way to <laughs> like, spend your life on this earth. Damn. Like, but yeah, everybody's got to make a buck. So I'm not hating. 100 moment of silence. Everyone's got to make a buck. I just, but it can't be that much fun. It's got to get repetitive. For sure. I just get confused. I get everyone mixed up. My dream bit is having him react to the video of you after 24 karat golden's birthday. That's the problem. Is obviously I'll call them when I need it, but they find you sometimes. What are the influencer spots? Because I know Boa. Boa is good. Boa the food's good. She'll go to Boa and she'll be like, God, I can't. I hope I don't get paparazzi. Yeah. Like, like, babe, you're not going there for the mac and cheese. You know, like, I like, I I definitely. There's. I do go for the gnocchi. It's it is, I've never tried or black it, truffles. It's really go good. I do go for that. It is. It's no. It's amazing. That is what I do go for. It is. It's. It's very interesting. And then also like, uh, saddle seems like it's dead. Saddle's awful. Saddle will never die. Like I saddle will like, make a comeback. But it's it's like if you like it, at least for us, you have to let you like it ironically. It's like the, yeah, it's like you you like it. You're it's going funny. there to laugh at the culture and ride the bull. Yeah, you like go there as a joke. Yeah, but get like, the free- it's like it's like how she dated Lil Xan as a joke, but she was really fucking like I'm really going there and like right. really enjoying and Craig's it. Craig's is good, but none of the TikTok kids go there. But right? that's good for when I want to get oh, my I face in adults. mainstream media. Yeah, you know? that's like, true. That's good for if when I'm, you want to see Kris Jenner. Yeah, when I'm fake dating an actress, actor, actress, I'm I'm going to Craig's. You know, I'm fake. Right. Dating a TikTok or SoundCloud rapper, I'm going to Boa. It's like a different caliber. It's such a complex yeah. labyrinth that it you've built. It really is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Is sex <laughs> even fun for you anymore, or is it like putting mayonnaise on a sandwich? Well, here's the thing, actually. I like I couldn't agree with you more. You're like, is it um, even does, is there anything fun about it, or is it just like boom, boom, slice it, yum? No, well, that's the thing, is I've gotten to the point now. Well, no, if I like you, it's still obviously it's fun. <laughs> right. But at the same time, I like to spice things up. But I have two words for you. OJ. Simpson? Like, as I in, think, like, get someone who stabs me? I don't mean orange juice. I mean, I think you have a real interesting relationship that's possible with O.J. Simpson. Should I call him? No, I, I, I believe <laughs> this is... I thought about this in the car on the way here, and I hate giving career I advice. I could be the new Nicole, babe. The He's glove, like, PR love doesn't have to be. You kill him. Do you know what I mean? It's female empowerment. It's the blondes getting back. It's no, it's you're in the news. It's old Hollywood. It's Brentwood. It's blood. It's gore. It's guts. It's more it's court, the Kardashians. You get off. It's Kardashians. It's everything. <laughs> it's it, it is it. You then become That's part. The- you become part of the Kardashian origin story in a weird way. It's like you are in the future, but also the past. It's this crazy thing. You could they do a documentary about you. It's huge. You become this huge feminist icon. You're on a speaking tour. I'm yeah. I've never <laughs> had someone pitch a better PR stunt. That is. The Tana Mojo future. If my life doesn't end yeah, that's by my... killing OJ, did I even make it? I mean, no. I'm just saying, what a great Hollywood story. That is honestly beautiful. You can get this all done by the time you're 27 years old. And and if I even make if it. Ma- I was going to say, you think she's going to make it to 27? Yeah. Well, then I could just do 27 Club. That would be kind of the ideal time. to. I think there's the something, bang, there's something Gab- iconic yeah. about. How about this? Just go to lunch with him. Is and everything will work itself out. Just go to lunch with him. You think Joe him. Rogan knows him? Wait, uh, can you I set that up? I don't know about up? if Rogan knows him, but I, I just, if you go to lunch with OJ, everything else, Tana, will fall into place. Is OJ out of prison? He's just roaming around the streets? Oh, yeah, no, he's been out for many years. And, he, oh. and Vegas. Sorry, like, God, there's a, like there's a Vegas connection. It's a beautiful story. I honestly where... don't even die for that. It, it, it is like one of those things. Wait, he's just out roaming the streets. So he, like, why don't we ever see him at BOA? It's a really good fuck. Like, where is OJ? Simpson Where's now? OJ? Have you? Seen I don't him? know if he's in LA. Oh, do you think he did it? But here's the deal. Do you think he Duh. did it? Um, probably. I'll he say that. It. I think OJ probably did it. Um. Uh, yeah, sure. You know, <laughs> uh, the question is, was he wrong? You know, um, that's the bigger question. <gasps> I yeah. just got word that OJ hangs out in downtown Summerlin. What's that mean? In Vegas, that's like a place. That's for the rich people in Vegas. He lives in Red Rock Country Club in Vegas. So rich, I'm pulling up. This is a story that needs to happen. Well, so I have to pee utterly. Brooke, you want to share with what you're going through? A chronic UTI. Some would say it is raging. And how did I get it? How did you get it? I don't know. (gasps) Actually, you know what? I know exactly how I got it. By I ignored fucking... the cardinal cardinal rule that I learned in college, which is you never sleep with someone who has navy bed sheets. Ever. Wow, that's, that's how so you get a UTI. That's guaranteed. UTI is navy bed sheets. Okay, don't say I never wrong. taught you anything. 
honest to God, Brooke. It's, it's I bit. bet OJ has white bed sheets. You think so? Where Awful. do you see yourself going? <laughs> like, well, what do you, what do you? I was thinking like the Los Angeles Cemetery. That is nice. <laughs> right? It's pretty. Forest Lawn is the best yeah. one. Oh, okay. Forest Lawn. I'll keep that. Yeah. Or maybe like a Malibu rehab. Right. No, I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm definitely more of a day by day individual. And I sure. think that's, that's how I live. Cause imagine me planning out anything. That's not really going to work. That's out not well. true. You got to keep the chaos. Uh, yeah, exactly. And that's, the that's how we we'll keep the chaos. We'll 100%. The chaos. I'm excited to see the future of Tim Dillon. What do you plan on doing? Just hopefully more bullshit. I would love a book. I would love a tour. A book's coming. A book is coming. A book is coming. Are you announcing that here on the cancel? Yeah, reader. we're working on a book. A huge reader. We're working on a book. <laughs> and it's gonna be pictures. I think that so well, now I'm easy. now it's got now it's a book and for it's me. Pop up. <laughs> pops up. It's not only is it pictures because that can also get boring for you. But you go like this, and then it pops up. And you go, "Whoa, there it is!" And see, I'm going to need exactly that from you. I just yeah. want to say, though, I adore you to death. This was one of my favorite podcasts because I knew you would just come on and we would just we chill would just and not laugh. have to say anything because yeah. you're so funny. The, I, I, I really do. I, I enjoy your shit. I think you're a lunatic in the best way. <laughs> Thank you for having me on. I feel like you know when I moved to LA, I think there was a certain idea that I was like moving to hell and now I feel like I'm in the seventh ring of it so yeah, Scream you have the chemistry of a couple of Helen Kellers in here. Like, no one knows what's do you think Helen Keller was real probably not me neither yeah what are your thoughts on Helen Keller NFT <laughs> put her on the blockchain or shut the fuck up yo why isn't there a Helen Keller NFT oh there will be would you buy it no, <laughs> it's but the someone I, will. Nelk would. Nelk will. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tim Dillon, I worship the ground you walk on. Thank, Thank you, you for coming so on. Much. You're the best. We I love would, you. We'd love to pull an impulsive. Yeah. I wanted you to say it with me, and then impulsive. it was just awkward. <laughs> well, I, let me know when the, the, the wine is launched. And I'll I, come. I, I would love for you. Yeah, see, for sure. Because here's the thing. You're going to be in a room. With everything you were just exemplifying that needed to happen on your TikTok stream, we want all the TikTokers there so drunk, oh, yeah. yelling. Like, that's the goal for the Dizzy yes, Launch event. So. I, well, that sounds great. Yeah. And we want the two <laughs> tickets that Little Zan didn't use. That is very yeah, we'll get any, we'll, we'll get you into any show you want. NFT. NFT. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming on, Thank Tim Dillon. I love you. Appreciate it. Time is canceled. Talent Production.